Hello everyone, welcome to Money Control. Let's catch up on the latest news from the stock market. From significant investment to major deals, fundraising and appointments. Here's a quick look at which stock will be in focus in today's trade. State-owned Bank of Baroda said on October 3 that it has approved the sale of its Oman operations to Bank Dover as part of rationalization of foreign operations. The bank has accorded approval for accepting the offer for acquisition of the banking business of Bank's Oman territory operations by Bank Dover's on an ongoing concern basis. BOB said in an exchange filing, the consideration for the sale is yet to be decided. This is subject to approval from concerned regulatory authorities, it said. The total business of BOB's operation in the country was 113.35 million Omani Real, while the net worth stood at 25.54 million Omani Real. BOB has been rationalizing its foreign operations based on the comprehensive evaluation framework. The customer franchisee Bajaj Finance increased sharply to 92.09 million as of the September 2024 quarter, compared to the 76.56 million as of September 2023 quarter. AUM grew by 29% to Rs 3,73,900 crore in Q2 FY25, while in loan book increased by 14% to 9.69 million and the deposits book rose by 21% to Rs 66,100 crore. Net liquidity surplus to at rupees 20,100 crore as of September 2024. Shilpa Medicare's 100% subsidiary Shilpa Pharma Life Sciences received certificate of suitability from EDQM for API Desmopressin. Desmopressin is a synthetic peptide manufactured by Shilpa Pharma Life Sciences through solid phase synthesis. It helps to reduce frequent urination and excessive thirst. This is used to treat central diabetes, insipidus, and bedwetting. Avenue Supermarkets Limited on Thursday reported a 14% growth on a yearly basis in its standalone revenue from operations at Rs 14,050.32 crore for the quarter ended September 30 of the financial year 2024-25. The DMART supermarket chain operator has reported standalone revenue of Rs 12,307.72 crore for the second quarter of the fiscal 2024, while revenue for the same period in FY23 stood at Rs 10,384.66 crore. Also, the company posted revenue from operations at Rs 7,649.64 crore for July-September's quarter in the financial year ended March 2022. HDFC Bank on October 3, 43.7 lakh shares of HDFC Bank were sold via a block deal. Morgan Stanley Asia bought 17.5 lakh shares of HDFC Bank at Rs 1,726.2 per share. Citigroup Global Markets Mauritius Private Limited also purchased 26.25 lakh shares at the same price. The seller was BNP Paribas Financial Market which sold 43.75 lakh shares in two transactions. At close, the stock was trading at Rs 1681, around 2.62% lower. So there you have it. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching and see you next time.